Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Offering of Time. In the last episode, the world didn't end, so in this episode, uh, there's some collectibles that uh, I want to do. But what I've actually done, I've already got the collectibles. I collect them off screen. As you see, uh, I now have I now have uh, nine heart containers or heart pieces. I've got an extra heart container up there. That's seven total. Uh, I also got uh, the the giant seed bag and the the biggest bomb bag. So now I can hold uh, 50 seeds and 40 bombs. And I'm gonna switch back to my Deku shield because I think it looks better. The Highland shield just looks awkward on on Link because it's so big for him. So yeah, uh, another thing I got here was bomb chews, and I will explain all of this as I show you what mini games I got these from. Now these mini games, the reason I got these things off screen, because they're because I have an emulator, the controls are all off and wonky. Like you you saw how much trouble I had with the slingshot when I first got it. Had a little practice since then, but still difficult. But here's the slingshot shooting gallery. Do you want to play a game? It's 20 rupees per play. Yes. Okay, this is the game for grown-ups. Hyrule's famous shooting gallery. Take aim at the targets from that platform over there. Can you hit 10 targets? You get 15 shots. Draw your weapon with B. Are you ready? Go for a perfect score. Good luck. Alright, so this is it. You're supposed to hit these rupees. Uh, and there's 10 rupees. You have 15 shots. It's 20 rupees to play. Now I did get kind of good at this off screen. I'm so upset with myself if I actually get it here. Uh, these blue ones screw me up. Uh, yeah, there we go. But if you can get all of them, uh, then you get a heart piece. See, I only missed a couple, but if you get all of them, you get a heart piece. And if you get, I think, a 13 or 14, or, well, if you get, uh, enough, if you get close to the score, he'll give you another one for free. So, yeah, I think he gives you extra money if you, uh, just, if you just screw up, or, well, if you actually win after you've already got the heart piece, which I already have it. Ah, I should really stop doing this. I don't need to be doing this anymore. And I hate this game. It's so annoying. I'm pretty sure it's even pretty difficult on the N64 itself, and or, em uh, well, not emulator, and or the virtual console. All right. So... Uh, now I've shown you that. That's how you get one heart piece. Well, actually, no, that's not where you get a heart piece. What am I talking about? This is where you get the big seed bag for uh, the slingshot. And over here, it's a little bit hidden, but there's a sketchy picture of a bomb chew there. Here is the bomb chew's uh, bowling alley. Now, this is where I got all of my other stuff. So I got my heart piece, my bigger bomb bag, and my bomb chews. Uh, you have to talk to this lady who is asleep. Hey, hey, you've got a job to do. I want to play a game. Huh? What? Uh oh. A customer. Welcome to our cutting edge amusement center. The Bomb Chew Bowling Alley. Do you want to know what you can win? Well, it's a secret. I can't tell you until you've paid to play. That's how they get you. That's how they get you. It's 30 rupees per game. Do you want to play? Yes. Okay. Aim for the hole in the center and let oh, the bomb chew go. You get ten tries. Ready? Let's bowl. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's what you can win. Fifty rupees. Yeah. She gives you a random prize that's either fifty rupees, a piece of heart, bomb chews, or a big bomb bag. I've gotten all the other things, so now I can only win fifty rupees. But what you have to do uh, is use these bomb chews. Bomb chews are, uh, are bombs and mouse. Mouse is the, uh, chew is ah the Japanese word for mouse. What you actually have to do is not that. You actually have to get the bomb chew to get in the center of that little thing. Boom! There we go. It worked. There's three levels to this. Here's the second one, which can be pretty difficult because there's that blade trap and a cuckoo in the way. But if you aim it right and don't hit the the cuckoo. Hopefully it'll move. Move! Move, Kaku, Move! Uh, th this game can be pretty difficult as well. 
but, uh, alright, now it's gone, hopefully it'll run into the blade trap. Come on. Oh, just barely. See, this game can be very frustrating because it's extremely difficult to judge where Link is, like, his angle. And don't even try to, to do this from over here because it's very difficult. And I'm going to get it after saying it's very difficult, aren't I? Yay! And there's the third level over there, which we won't get to do because we already used up ten tries. But what you want to do is you want to be at an angle, and when the, the cuckoo is to the, the right, you want to throw it, and hopefully it won't move there. So, yeah. And <laughs> kind of hoping I won. I would won back all of my money. All right. Now... That's how I got all of my extra collectibles. But there's something that I actually haven't done yet. And it can only be done at night. Alright then. <laughs> yeah, I know it's kind of a cop-out to not see all this stuff. I'll be getting all this stuff on screen, but I just couldn't do it on screen. There's too much pressure to do it on screen, so I just did it off screen, threw on the infinite rupees... Uh, cheat on my emulator and you know anyways I was to talk to this lady I can't find my puppy anywhere I need you to look for it please alright so we need to go out and find her puppy but unfortunately there are puppies freaking everywhere it's hard to tell which one is hers now the way you do this is you have to touch a puppy and this brown one doesn't seem to like me. okay this one likes me and then they'll follow you around. And once you do that, you will have to bring it back to her. And it's basically just trial and error until you find the right puppy. Uh, this is the wrong puppy, by the way. Ugh, that's not my dog. How could you mix up my puppy with a mutt like that? I just wanted to show you the the dialogue that you get when you fail. Now, her, her actual puppy, whose name is Little Richard, uh you'll see when we actually bring it back to her is over here underneath this creeper there we go come on little Richie 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 come on come on Richie alright there we go we got little Richard and now we just run over there make sure he's not too far behind you when you go into there and if you touch another puppy while one's already following you uh, the second one won't follow you so there's that alright so now we've got little Richard we can go back here and talk to this lady. Yeah. Richard! This is my little Richard. Thank you, thank you. I'll give this to you as a reward. You got a piece of heart. Two more to go until we get to our eighth heart container. Yeah, we're really getting up there. Alright. Well, we have done that. We got some stuff in this episode but we should probably get to doing some progress pretty soon. So I think that I will move on to go to the next place. We've got a couple more minutes. I could probably make it there in that time. And wait, how do I get out of here? I forgot how to exit Castletown. Out of my way, honey and darling. That's actually their names. At least I think so. In um, Majora's Mask, a lot of these sprites were reused. Well, I don't know if they're really sprites. These people were reused. And uh, in that game, they're called Honey and Darling. I don't know. I'm a little bit of a hypocrite because, one, I did not like how they did that. How they just reused a bunch of things. It seemed lazy to me. But then again, one of my favorite Zelda games is uh, the, the uh, Oracle of Ages and or Seasons. And... They used, a, they reused a bazillion sprites from, from, uh, Link's Awakening. Then again, I never played Link's Awakening, so it really wouldn't, didn't register to me. But yeah, they, they did that as well. So, I guess I really can't like be too mad. I mean, it's, it's a little bit of familiarity, and it's a way to get the game out quicker and less time uh, designing sprites and more time designing the game itself. Anyways, here we are at the Zora River. 
Uh, I will explore the Zora River and go for the third spiritual stone in the next episode. So this is me, Thrash02, saying, be cool, save often, and don't do anything I wouldn't.